I am the author as well as the main star of the world's most interesting drama. Reverend Dr. Holly Namokin, pastor of the United Methodist Church, translator, Mrs. Irene Park, reader, Mr. Jacob Lee. I especially thank my son Jacob for reading this English video and thank Mrs. Irene Park for translating it. Thank you very much for making this video possible with your help and cooperation. Today, while in prayer, I remember the hymn, All the Way My Savior Leads Me. This hymn is very special to me because I used to sing it when I was in hardship and received comfort. I sang when we began a new mission at a new church. I sang when we immigrated to the United States and I sang when I was in ill health. The Lord impressed me to sing this hymn today. As I was singing this hymn in a long time, the lyrics reminded me of every challenging time in my life and remembered how the Lord provided appropriate solutions and power from above. All the way my Savior leads me, what have I to ask beside? Can I doubt his faithful mercy? who through life has been my guide. Heavenly peace, divinest comfort, here by faith in him to dwell. For I know whatever fall me, Jesus doeth all things well. For I know whatever fall me, Jesus doeth all things well. All of the way my savior leads me, cheers each winding path I tread, gives me grace for every trial feeds me with the living bread. Through my weary steps may falter, and my soul of thirst may be. Gushing from a rock before me, lo, a spring of joy I see. Gushing from a rock before me, lo, a spring of joy I see. The Lord said, you are the lead character and the author of your life drama. Since my middle school years, I used to write novels draw cartoons, and love to watch dramas. Writing a screenplay for a Hollywood movie was once my dream. In 1992, when I went back to Korea in 15 years to lead revival meetings, it was difficult for me to use Korean. That did not mean I was fluent in English, but English words came up first and I could not remember the appropriate words in Korean. Especially at churches with many elderly people, it was more difficult since I had to translate simultaneously in my head before I could speak. After I came back to the States, I began to watch K-dramas to learn Korean again. Every time each episode ended at the height of curiosity as to what would happen next, and that was enough to be addicted to K-dramas. I used to envy the leading actors. So it was a surprise to hear that I am the main actress and the author of my life drama. The Lord continued, your drama is creative and free. It is not set according to destiny, but it is decided by the main character's prayers and wishes. It is a drama of promises and accomplishments. Each of you are the lead character of your own life drama and it is embroidered by you. I am the lead actress, whom I used to envy. I never thought about it before. How wonderful. There is only one you in the universe and your drama is also one and only in this world. I am the producer and the angels are the audience and the mentor or the lead character is the Holy Spirit. Wow. As I thought about it, I did realize my own drama is quite more dynamic, interesting, and creative than any others in the world. The leading role I portray is a person. Even though she always lived with diseases, she overcomes bravely and becomes a healing minister and even broadcasts for Russian mission. As I look back, there was none of my own planning. It is a vibrant living drama, which is led by the Father through the Holy Spirit with answered prayers. It is an amazing drama of salvation through promises and achievements. 
And since the main character is myself, isn't life worth living? Where else could I take the main role? It is only possible in God's dramas. The drama of life given by our precious Father God. As soon as I was born, I caught smallpox and had a brush with death. After getting the penicillin injections for three months, the overdose of the drugs caused acute kidney infections and I received the death sentence. The aftermath of smallpox damaged my eyes, nose, and mouth, and I grew up like a baggage of disease. I had one surgery in middle school, two operations, and extreme acid reflux in college, two C-sections for childbirth, weak kidney functions led to hypertension and diabetes, which came like twins as I got older. Poor circulation and thick blood caused a stroke. Restraining salt and water due to kidney infection caused dehydration and pancreatitis, which in turn led to hospitalization. And all my life, I was always dizzy caused by vertigo. God has helped me to live for 70 years in spite of these numerous mountains of diseases. I am thankful that like Apostle Paul, these storms made me humble and attain better understanding of God's tears for the sick, which became the driving force for healing ministry and deliverance, as well as leading revival meetings for 30 years, all the while trusting God's power being manifested through my weaknesses. I first started with a website for spiritual formation, and in order to train 300 elite soldiers, I began Menua Spiritual Formation Cafe, and in my life's second half, in order to give audio-visual training, I started uploading videos on YouTube without knowing much. I have diligently made educational videos for 18 months, and one day the Lord showed me in a dream that I would gain one hour of preaching time at a Russian broadcasting company. He said, preach in English. Then Russians would also have more opportunities to hear. Go out to evangelize the world through YouTube. I wanted to postpone by saying, I will begin when the number of subscribers reach 1,000. At that time, I had one new member daily. Suddenly, God sent 1,000 members in a day or two, like sending quals in a lump. Hence, the birth of Holly Namo Human TV. God clearly showed me about the Hanoi Summit 20 days before it actually occurred, and that triggered many people to subscribe to my channel. Through subsequent dreams, God kept showing me about the situations in Korea, and the subscription continued to increase. When I was teaching about revelations, I met so many oppositions concerning the interpretation of 666, the number of the beast. And that was when I realized that an immense impact of YouTube, as well as the reality that lay people tenaciously hold onto what they misunderstood as the truth. I was doing my best to argue the case and continue to make videos, but the Lord said, do not get caught up in the theological controversies. Just proclaim my love. So I commenced live lectures through Holly Namo Yoon healing class. The angels, who are your audience, as well as your helpers on site, say your story is very interesting. What kind of angels are they? Didn't I tell you? I always send Michael's angels to your meetings. They always say how well you fought against Satan in spite of your tiny stature. It was a sight to see. You put on an armor on me, have you forgotten? Of course I remember. Whenever I saw you, many times I felt pity for you, but you have carried out the role faithfully. And now is the time to achieve what you have sowed in heaven with prayers. I remember and write down all your prayers. And if you prayed accordingly to my will, you will reap thirtyfold, sixtyfold, and one hundredth fold on this earth. Then Lord, to which directions would you be leading my drama? You decide your own drama. Nobody can preset your life. I never set a fate or a destiny. I want each individual to open up own life freely. Your drama is written as we discuss, agreed, and decide together. 
It is not like you act within a set frame. There is no life which is preset. You are not robots, but free beings. But just remember one thing. Fish ought to live in water, cars ought to be driven on roadways, and birds are happy to live in the air. As for human beings, true freedom and growth can be attained only when living in my word and abiding in me. Your life will be free as long as you stay within this framework. Live your drama life fully. The main character acts and decides the storyline as well. That is correct. How you would lead your life, which direction to take, whether to finish, all depends on your prayer. I respect your opinion. I allow what is in alignment with my will, and you can build such life. Do not impute blame on Satan nor on me. Seek wisdom from the Holy Spirit and from the Word and cultivate your life. Your life is the fruit of your prayers and it is a production. Your life is a process of achieving what is promised in the work. For those who trust the promise and walk, the achievements belong to them. I say again, you are not born as robots, but as my children. You must be aware since you have raised your own children. Is there a child who exactly follows the way you have said? You are only the stewards to raise them well. You know quite well that you cannot grasp your child's life and move as you will. Likewise, you were born to be free with free will. I look forward to your created drama. You and I make it together, a drama with the Holy Spirit as a mentor, which you anticipate eagerly. But remember, without you, your drama no longer exists. That is why your drama is one of a kind in the universe. Really, the desire to lead a wonderful life drama gushes out from my heart. There are many people who always wonder about God's will towards them and never gets out of that frame. I never knew I had such freedom. Lord, you are the best supporter for us to build our wonderful life. Just stay on the track. Stay with water and air. Isn't Jesus Christ the way, the living water and the air? If you live in Christ, freedom is completely yours. But aren't there people whom you have specifically called? Didn't I become a minister because you called me? I thought I had a special calling and ran my race without any other thoughts. I assumed you led my life. And my job is to obey. Have I been wrong? I never called you to be a pastor. I only called you to feed my sheep. Then... Didn't you call my husband to be a minister? We have worked together and dedicated our lives to the church for life. I never called your husband to be a minister. Do you mean we have run our race without your calling? Then are there pastors in ministry without calling? And there are lay people with calling? I thought I did rather well. I even had the gifts, but I was never called to be a minister. Correct. I will explain. The Lord explained about the special calling in detail. To be continued. You can order these three books from Amazon Kindle. 365 Prayers of Blessing for Your Children. Theory and Praxis of Land Work. The Lord's Visitation for 14 Days. This video is made by Reverend Dr. Holly Namok Lee, who is a minister of the United Methodist Church. She got a degree of Doctor of Ministry at Claremont Theological Seminary in California. She is an Executive Director of Menowah Ministry. She carries a healing ministry. She is an author of 40 books and led 1,000 revival services and over 200 seminars for ministers. Now, she lives in California with her husband, Reverend Peter Yongtek Lee. She is the fourth daughter of Dr. Sung Bum Yoon, a former president of Methodist Theological University in Seoul, Korea. In Hebrew, menowah is an adjective that describes being restful. We use the term menowah as a noun. Please hit the subscribe button for more videos and thank you for watching this video.